Okay, gang. Film 7. I uh, bumped up the mix. I put about another, um, I don't know, maybe a less than a quart, maybe a pint. I bumped it up with some, pa some potassium hydroxide. I'm now running at 15 amps. Uh, the unit is, uh, you can still touch it. You're not going to get burned. It's warm, but it's not overly hot. Uh, my production really kicked up. You look at the lines. Yeah, big bubbles are oxygen, small bubbles are hydrogen, yada yada. We all know that. Uh, it's non-stop now. Uh, unit's been running uh, a little over an hour. Um, I think we're getting there. The longer this thing runs, the more gas it's putting out. Uh, both cells are pretty much running equal. It's a constant flow now into the bubbler. And in the jug, uh, the uh, rate of bubbles going into the jug have doubled now. And it's, it's, it's increasing. With each minute that goes by, uh, the rate increases. Uh, from what I can tell so far, I mean, my mix is getting a little bit dirty. I'm looking at the water, and uh, now that I have the proper amount, and I know pretty much what to mix it at because what I basically did was uh, I think it was um, no, hold on let me let me go check because I want to be sure because if somebody wants to use this mix uh, this is really working for this unit so uh, hold on a minute alright what I basically used was one quart of white vinegar. It's a 5% acidity. I top the unit off with steam distilled water. That gave me about 9 amps to start off with. I ran the unit for 45 minutes, took some more steam distilled water, and I didn't, I didn't fill the tank off. I still had probably about 2 inches below the fill line. So to finish it off, I just put enough potassium hydroxide to fill the very front of a teaspoon. Uh, if you get hydroxide, if you get the potassium hydroxide in the flake form, you might be talking maybe seven, eight, maybe ten flakes, just enough, you know, to to fill the tip of the spoon. I put that in, mixed it up real good, and I finished filling the tank up with that mix. So you're you're talking a quart of vinegar and maybe a quarter teaspoon of potassium hydroxide. I'm running 15 amps, 12.34 volts to each cell. The, the unit is still running cool, it's not hot. I've got really good production going. You know, I'm not going to screw around with it too much since it's the first day. But uh, as time goes by, I'm sure this, uh, I'm sure the water's going to get a little bit dirty, and that's okay because the production is steady now. Before it wasn't as steady, but right now it's, it's starting to crank up a bit. And uh, that's all I was getting at for this first test for the day. So there we go. We're on our way. Um, hopefully, uh, if this keeps going the way it's going and I don't have a, a drop off, I'll start putting this in the truck. So uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, more's coming.